Hello and welcome to program of C++. Uh, today I want to write our first C++ program. Uh, the idea we are currently using is the C++ and uh, for many tutorials on how to configure and then install the C++ as an ID. Um, there are also videos of other IDs that they could use. So um, let's start. So we come to file, create a new file. So we have platform to put. So um, first, we use the preprocessor directly in Clue, hash in Clue to bring in um, the header file. I O stream which has seen and seen out and learning and out with and another function say then you see namespace namespace std good why our main connection between the brackets for argument then and another by tell you brackets here ten zero. All right. So today we'll be looking at three things in our first C plus plus. First, I'm going to look at um, the keyword C out uh, function C out. Basically, what it does is that um, it actually outputs an information to the outside world to anybody using your program. So in order to do that, we type the word C out. Then two less than signs. Then uh, we use this double quotation. C++ any time that you see double quotation uh, referred to as a string. Yeah, so we have here, hello, well, plus s my first C++ program. Then he end with a semi-comic. So uh, let's compile, uh, run, and then let's see what happens. So before you be able to execute a C++, we said it's a compiler language. As such, the codes are to be compiled and then brought to machine language for the machine to understand. And then this so C++ does. It converts every code here to machine language, and then after that, it executes. So uh, we have to compile and then run it. So F11 is the shortcut key for that. So Let's go. Okay, so first, C B P proc. All right. So we see what file. All right. So we have this here. Hello. This is my let's see glass glass worker. All right. So um, let's add another test. So we have C out double quotation mark that says tiny root. And my first C the last class program. So um, let's execute this and see what happens. Oh, okay, we have it here. It says hello. This is my first if I kindly wait. Okay, so you realize that the two are kind of concatenated here. So we need to push this to the next line. And then in C++, the keyword that we use for that is what we call the end line, E-N-D-L. So this is what we do here. We introduce two less than signs here. And then we write in the end L. All right. So now this is one thing. Before, um, the moment you compile the code or the, uh, the moment you run the code without compiling, what happens is that it's going to give you the output of the uh, the last code that you compiled. So you realize that you are running by seamless the old output. So in order to update your compiler on the new code, you have to compile and then run again. So you compile and run. Let's see what happens. All right. So you realize that you have. Okay. This is my first C++ plus plus program. All right. Okay. So let me add one, the last thing to add. And in C++, plus plus, um, we comment by using double up the backslash. This a lot of comments. Comments are um, are part of your course, but it actually uh, does more uh, good to the programmer than to the compiler. What happens here is that the compiler ignores the comments, but to the programmer, you could read and then get the details of anything that you had there. So let's so let's say this program is my first 
C++ folder. So let's execute and see. So compile and run. So you realize that we didn't have that there because the compiler actually skipped that. So for single line comment, when you say single line comment, single line comments mean that um, the code in particular is on just one line. So we have this code is on line seven. So that's the same line. So you want to comment on more than a uh, line, you have to either put a backslash at every line or could use a backslash with an asterisk or a star here. Then you close it again. The star. So everything that you have here, everything, yeah, is a single. It's a multi, multi, right? Comment. So in the, everything that goes here becomes realize that it's been highlighted green, and then when we execute and compile and execute, you have this. So thank you very much. That is it for today.